Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. What I have for you this video is a door both made of and activated by cauldrons. If you have a bottle and a bucket of water, you can open and close the door. Now I would like to point out straight away that this would be pretty annoying to have in your survival world. You wouldn't want to carry around these items just to use a door. However, it is always good to share ideas. This was an idea I had and it turns out it is possible to make. So if you're in survival, you can open the door with a water bottle. You can reset the bottle simply by drinking the water out of it, which turns it back into a key of sorts. And then once you have gone through the door, you need to close it by emptying the water bucket, which you can refill if you have an infinite water source nearby. So it isn't too bad after all if you are in survival, but this would probably be more suitable in an adventure map. The design is one wide, so you can hide it behind walls, and it's fairly simple to build and doesn't use a lot of resources, but I guess it's now time for me to show you how to build it. So building this is going to be fairly straightforward. The design is one wide. On one side it is going to stretch out by three blocks and on the other side it is going to stretch out by four. It doesn't matter what way around those are but the glass here represents where the door will be and where the player will walk through. Now this is three blocks up so when you're placing this wherever you're placing it make sure you can go down by three blocks at that level right there. And I'm just going to remove this glass because for the rest of the tutorial that is actually going to get in the way but that is where our level surface for the floor is. So in this chest all the things we need to build this we will need 13 pieces of redstone, two redstone repeaters, three redstone comparators 18 building blocks for the redstone, you're probably going to need more for the walls that go on either side. Then we'll need two half slabs, two sticky pistons, two cauldrons, and then to use this you're going to need a bucket of water and a bottle. So let's start building this. First of all we want to go to where the door will be and go down to the bottom and place three blocks in a row to one side like this and just put another one there. Then place a sticky piston with a cauldron on top of it, that's obviously going to be where the door is. Then we need to put four blocks together on the side here, so just remove that one when you're done placing these. And then we need another two blocks here, put a half slab on the side of that one and remove this one when you're done, so you should have a shape like that. Then we want to put a comparator here, facing forward into that block, put three pieces of redstone on the top and three pieces of redstone on the bottom. Then we need to place another sticky piston and a cauldron, so to do that we're going to place it on the side of the hitbox of this redstone. So if we go down and very carefully click on the side of that, the sticky piston will face downwards, and then we can place a cauldron below, and then we have built one half of this door. So once again we need to place a whole bunch of blocks for this second half, so we're going to place two in the corner like that, and then put another two on top of it, put a half slab here and then remove that block then put a block on the side of the half slab, another one on the side of this piston, and then we need to place some on the side of where the door is going to be. So make a shape like this, and then that is all of the blocks. So when you've got them like that, we're ready to put in our redstone. In fact, we have to remove this one just so we can place the comparator down there, but let's put that back. And then our second comparator goes over there with a piece of redstone on that block. Then we need three pieces of redstone at the bottom, three pieces of redstone at the top, then we're going to put a repeater here facing into the piston and a repeater here facing into the block below the piston and now our door is almost ready to go. So the last thing we need is some water in the cauldron at the bottom and when we put that in then it's ready to go. Let's test it out. We can use the bottle to open it, we can use the water to close it again and some of you may be wondering how this works. Well it is really simple. We're using the comparators on either side to check when this thing is full and when it's full it's going to power the pistons and close the door. So let's take from this one right here. It's no longer full so this one here is no longer powering the pistons at the top and the bottom but there is also a bit of a block update issue here. You can see the signal strength is 2 uh, but if we update this then it no longer powers that. So this one is now waiting for the cauldron to be full so when it is the redstone is going to reach the repeater at the top and the bottom it's going to close the door and then the comparator on the other side will take over again. So that is it for this Minecraft tutorial. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. It will always be appreciated. And if you need a world download, there is one available in the description box for this world right here. But that is it. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.